Hey Harmonizers, welcome to this video with Alicia doing an obstacle schooling day where we took her off site to go practice some obstacles. I've registered her for the trail and freestyle classes at the thoroughbred makeover. So those are going to be kind of our two focuses and the biggest one is getting comfortable off site. So here we are doing an obstacle school and the day before she had actually done another obstacle school, I'll share that video as well separately. And we came out to this park where we're actually going to be doing a competition in a couple weeks to uh, to compete here in a mountain trail class. And so that's basically doing their obstacles really calm and relaxed. So I thought, well, we'll come out and we'll school the obstacles and try to set it up for success. So that way she's more relaxed and kind of build her into that show environment because we know that she stresses off site. And you can see she's looking around a little bit, but overall is not looking too bad walking around. Things seem to be going pretty well doing a few of the different obstacles. And the nice thing about mountain trail is that most of it's typically just at the walk. Sometimes you have to trot between obstacles or even do a little bit of a canter. But we're really just practicing doing the walking. And here at the first little water thing, she hesitates a little bit, but then goes through really nicely. I'm going to give her a little cookie there. And you can see she's really looking around, not 100% relaxed, but isn't looking uh, as exciting as what she did when we went to Spruce Haven, the video when she's like literally leaping in the air and bucking and rearing and it's kind of a crazy time. So we head out uh, going over this way. There's some uh, logs that she could jump or there is um, logs that she can side pass. And you can kind of see the barn in the distance. That's actually a cow farm or a beef cattle farm. And so the pasture neighboring this field is actually full of cows, which I don't know that she is scared of cows per se. I think more at this point, she's being a little bit um, drawing her confidence from the herd and can get kind of set off on things that upset her. And so we have to build up her self-confidence. So she's paying attention to the cows, but I'm still able to get my side pass over the log here. I didn't uh, push my luck and try to jump the logs or anything like that because I could feel that she was tense. So for example, here she's stopping and she's looking at the cows. So I decided to make a turn and just kind of try to distract her. And she gets very frozen and very stuck. So when Alicia tends to kind of get triggered and start to feel anxious or anything like that she tends to really go inside her body and just kind of escalates and doesn't seem to know how to bring her her stress and her tension level back down really well so I just kind of turn and I did a little bit of calm connection stuff just trying to get her relaxed a little bit more try to help her so I'm doing some turns and just trying to bend her doing calm connection exercises and seeing if I can just get her focus back on me. And you can see she's really staring off in the distance at the cows. And again, I don't know so much that it's cows per se, because she has seen cows before and not really had a reaction. But we know that she draws her confidence from her herd. We've seen um, the video where she sees a horse that looks like Asha, a buddy from her field. And she ends up having a little rearing tantrum fit and a whole bunch of different things. And where we are is very far away from the trailer and the other horses that we came with because we came with Elon and Timmy the Mustangs. So I wanted to get off and just kind of see, okay, how much of a fire breathing dragon are you? If I push you and I ask you to trot and canter, are we going to do the whole rearing bucking thing that we did a couple weeks ago when we were at Spruce Haven? And she holds it together pretty nicely there, although you can see definitely still super duper distracted looking off at those cats in the distance. So after doing a little bit of more groundwork, we head off on some more obstacles and here we uh, do the tire and different things like that. And unfortunately, I kind of, I left her to be the last horse. We'd already worked at Timmy and Elon and she was left to last because literally yesterday she did an obstacle school and she was super duper amazing. I thought, okay, this is going to be just a quick walk around, do the obstacles, expose her. And I wasn't really anticipating having all of this tension, which you can see she's still very distracted wanting to look off. She doesn't look crazy tense or anything like that, 
but I can feel there's tension and, and some anxiety in her and the fact that she's kind of looking off at the pricked ears off at the cows and on the next side as well she's very irritated with the bugs we see lots of tail swishing sometimes we'll see some stomping at the flies because there are some of the bitey flies because this is an area with water and whenever you have water features you're going to have bitey bugs it's just kind of the reality of the situation now we come around here for the noodles which she sticks her head through and then she kind of decides she's got to back up and think about it for a minute before she can actually go through which is interesting because normally that kind of thing is no big deal but she's just being a little bit on the tent side and you can see just how her head's kind of up those ears really pricked is her not being super relaxed and kind of hesitating at the teeter bridge so she's managing okay but not how I would like her to be and because um, everything went kind of well yesterday I left her to be the last horse of the day doing the obstacle school here and this facility is on the other side of the city and if I leave it too late we're going to be stuck in horrendous traffic trying to get back as it stands when we did leave I still got stuck in pretty bad traffic and what should have been a two and a half hour drive ended up being a three and a half hour drive so that's how bad the traffic can get and uh so I was a little bit on the rushed side and she could probably sense that as well where I'm thinking, okay, like let's just do the obstacles and breathe and, and then let's get out of here. So that doesn't help the situation at all. The horses need to feel relaxed energy. And when I already shared the video of the compilation of three different shows that we went to together, I showed how... At the next experience, I took the time to just stand and hang out with her, wait for her to breathe, wait for her to kind of fall asleep, and things went much uh, better. Here, she basically came from the trailer. I did a tiny little bit of groundwork and then hopped on and, and said, let's give some of this stuff a try. And that's a, that's a tough task to do. When we come around here to do the barrel push, she doesn't understand that she's supposed to push it. And because I'm riding her, I have to kind of lean over to give it a push to show her that it does move. And she wasn't super thrilled with this. And this is one of those things where you can see that tension show through. Because normally Alyssa would be, Alyssa would be focused on the task that I'm trying to do. And she'd be learning and she'd be smart. And there she just wasn't even kind of looking at the barrel. She wasn't even really thinking about it that much. When we came over to the water... She started to put that no on. She threatened the little rears where she kind of throws her front end up a little bit. Didn't do anything super crazy or dangerous, but I can tell she's not focused. She's not even really looking. She's just thinking, I want to go back to the trailer, not focusing on the situation whatsoever. And I can feel that tension and I can feel that if I push her, we're going to potentially see a bigger reaction. And we know from past experiences that that is not just a threat. She actually will do some pretty acrobatic moves. And me being where I'm at in training and kind of getting back, I don't really have an interest in doing that kind of thing. So I just hop off. I do some uh, groundwork and ask her to cross. And she, she does put up a, a little bit of a I don't want to and she has done water before and she touches and jumps across unfortunately I'm not really sure why but we don't have the footage of her going through the water nicely because we actually rode through that as well and then I decided you know what I feel all this tension in here I want to end on a good note we're kind of rushed for time so I decided to just ask my staff Emily there to just lead me to just make sure that things stayed safe because I'd rather have somebody come support on the ground and mean that I can stay on Alicia's back and kind of work through this and a little bit to get a little bit of relaxation even though that means being led around rather than kind of getting off all the time which sometimes can tell the horse that if they just get tense enough that you'll get off and there's no point to work through it so I'm going to speed up this footage here because she actually walked me around a fair bit and I decided to do these obstacles 
where she had to think about her feet. So we were going through the rocks and over the poles because then she had to focus a little bit more. Here's another little log pile that we went through. So things where she would have to focus on her feet a little bit. So after we did a little bit of that, I decided let's call it a day. She's, you know, irritated with the bugs. The traffic's going to be starting soon. So we'll, we'll call it a day and uh, continue to take her to a lot more obstacle schools before Kentucky. We've only got a, a few weeks to go.